Started already here that's on right, the that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Of course, we want to say a very special good morning. We have the crew from the Radisson here to be able to tell us all about uh, their annual New Year's Eve bash and what big surprises you have in store for us, right? That's right. Good morning, ladies. Good and morning. welcome. Good morning, Marlene and John. Thanks for having us here again. This is our sixth appearance yes. and our sixth dance. Yes. Wow, it's that's the great. The dance of the year. It's I, the only dance at, in Belize <laughs> for New Year's. For New Year's. You know what? I, I got to understand it nice. So, so nice. nice. <laughs> so nice. So nice. <laughs> Excellent. A lot of folks actually look forward to uh, the Radisson's New Year's Eve bash. And to bring in New Year, uh, one of the things folks actually say is that it's actually the best place to bring in your new, bring in your new year. Yeah. Absolutely, it is. And not because I'm biased, but it's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> we, when we started the first one, I'll never forget. Mm -hmm. um, we did it kind of last minute with mm -hmm. Gil Harry, just as something to do. Mm -hmm. um, and we said that we'll probably get about 100 people. Mm -hmm. And if we did... We'll be happy because we were never known for a dance. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. We were amazed. The turnout was in excess of 700. Wow. We did not cater for 700. We didn't expect it. Um, and we have had that steady number throughout. Yeah. So we're expecting, uh, because it's a sixth one, yeah. and we decided we need to move, step it up a notch. We included Oscar B. That's the surprise. And let me tell you, once some of those old soca songs come on, everybody is ready for a party. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I love that you, you pointed out that it was really just kind of doing something last minute and that it's been so well received. Now, how do you keep them coming back? What about what, uh, how you execute your party? Keep people uh, deciding that their New Year's Eve will happen at the Radisson every year. Well, part of it is the service. Yes, mm. it's a party, and it caters for that many people, that many persons. But it's not a like if you're going out to maybe the Bayman Tavern and you expect that personal service. Yeah. One of the things that I think helps is the security aspect. Yeah. Uh, because we make sure we have uniform security there, in addition to our own um, hotel security. Mm. Um, we have security that also rolls around the the. The compound. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things also is because of all the management presence. Mm -hmm. So all our, our entire management team works that night. Yeah. So we also have a one-on-one -on -one with our guests. We walk around. We make sure that things are happening. Yeah. We utilize the entire public areas, mm -hmm. the bars, the centerita room, and so on. And it's just about having fun. We. It's somewhere for, we had said it's somewhere for people, uh, more mature people mm. to go. Um, it hasn't just been over the mature years, people. Yes, yeah. over the years we were surprised because we had um, younger people as well that we didn't expect mm. has also been attended. It's a and wide range of people. It, it, it yeah. is, it is. And I think a big part of it is because of the security aspect and that's one of the things that we always try to push mm -hmm. and we are very conscious of you know let, let's let's face it people want to be safe in terms of bringing in the new year then again you already let the cat out of the bag oscar b is going to be there but give us the rest of the lineup who all will be in attendance at this one we have dj bones in the early um, Martin and early night juggling because the party starts at 9 a.m and it finishes until 5 a.m. in the morning wow. ah. and after the yes yeah, sorry 9, 9 p.m. and it finishes at 5 a.m. and then after the dance we have our special candela's breakfast where you can have a nice meal before you go home after a whole night of partying have you ever <laughs> seen that folks actually stay until 5 a.m. Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. oh yes oh yes yes 
they stay or some breakfast. people get rooms so they yes. don't have to yes. uh, drive some anywhere people, after. Yeah. some yeah. people get uh, room packages because we have had that available unfortunately for those who have not booked that we are already full um for that night um the breakfast we have a big turnout every year we have we find more and more people stay behind for that breakfast mm -hmm. and what we found last year was people from other parties come for that breakfast right. mm -hmm. because how can you pass up ten dollars for fried up christmas ham mm -hmm. you know beans juice yeah. tea. Hey. you can't you, you can't pass that up for ten dollars just there. fried up what time does the breakfast start? You said at 5 a.m.? 5 a.m., yeah. okay. yes. Just for one hour, 5 Just to 6. for one hour. Oh, okay. So you have your, your lineup, your DJ that's going mm -hmm. to be on. You have, of course, Oscar B, um, which people are looking forward to. And you also have Gil Harry 7. Yes. And they definitely know how to keep a party going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They know exactly how to keep a party going. So I, I'm sure folks are looking forward to it. And one of the things you mentioned is the security aspect. So while folks are looking forward to be safe, they also want to make sure that they enjoy themselves. What about the, the, uh, the, the cost to get into the, the party that night? Um, well, the cost is... Single is 60. Mm -hmm. Single is 60. Um, 100 is... For couples. Okay. Mm -hmm. no, it's, it's reasonable for us to be for that lineup. That's right. That is reasonable. It's more than reasonable. Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, obviously, is it a good idea to get your tickets ahead of time? It yes. is recommended to yeah. get your tickets ahead of time. Um, we always see a rush on ticket purchase within the last the 48 hours leading up to the dance, believe it or not. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things I, I also need to point out is parking. Because parking is always critical. Yeah. It's so limited in Belize City. Mm -hmm. um, for that night, we have access to Mirab's parking lot. Wow. Yeah. Um, so in order to get into Mirab, you will need to have shown your ticket. Okay. And then you'll be allowed to park in Mirab. Um, because, again, it's a very limited parking. And then we also have access to our own hotel's parking. Yeah. Excellent. Which is almost Which, right across the yes. street. Yeah. There's a lot of things happening in that neighborhood for the... And they block first, so off the area, so you'll need your to get down. into yes. the area, right? I haven't heard anything okay. with regards to that, but I'm sure they'll be able to access it because a lot of a lot of times we still have people that purchase their tickets the night, uh, the night off when they when they come on. Well, I'll tell you this much: one of the things you did as well, uh, bursting against some bubbles in terms of telling folks, you know what, we're booked out for the night. There are a lot of folks who would actually want to be at the Radisson. Then again, there might just be folks who have never been to the Radisson who have booked already saying that we'll stay the night and we want to enjoy the ambience from the Radisson. What are some of the amenities you guys offer besides uh, New, Year's, New Year's Eve bash? Okay, besides the bash, uh, the main restaurant is going to be open uh, until 9 um, because we want to ensure that our in-house guests still get uh, a very good dining experience and they're not rushed. Uh, yeah. For that time period, we have in our rooms, um, of course, we have some of our rooms that have sleep number beds, so you can select your own sleep number to your comfort level, mm -hmm. right? We have complimentary Wi Fi throughout the night, so even if you are if you're at the dance, if you're at the party, you can post as you go. Um, but for our guests who just want to spend the night, then they have access to that. Um, we have, they'll still have access to one of our main pools because while we'll be using the stone grill area, which mm -hmm. has a pool, then they still have access to a pool that is private and, and they can still enjoy themselves for that All right. evening. Mm. All right, so while We've got Oscar B, Gil Harry 7, DJ Bones. Uh, it's dance the night away, but that's it. What happens at 12? At midnight to at bring in the New 12, Year? At 12, it's going to be the countdown, John. You mm -hmm. can't have New Year's Eve without a countdown, right? Mm -hmm. So again, we have Oscar B and Gil Harry doing that countdown for us. We have my good friend, Mr. Trap. I'm putting him on the spot. <laughs> so, and that's what he gets for not being here. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Edison will be there as well. I'll, to help bring in that that countdown, but it promises to be a great, great night. And of course, you're showcasing your party favors. Oh, All of yes. these are just a, a part of the package that you get when you when you go to yes. the Madison, right? Yes. The the ticket gives you, of course, your entrance. You get a welcome drink. Right. 
The welcome drink is compliments of Sky Vodka. Mm -hmm. uh, you get your party favors. And See, you have to your with your, champagne yeah. toast. There we go. Oh, we're having bubbly this morning we too? Bubbly. <laughs> this has been a very festive year, hasn't it? Right. <laughs> Good morning. Yeah. He heard the champagne, Good then morning. he wanted then to wear a hat. See? <laughs> <laughs> and what else do you want to tell people about coming to the oh, coming to the party? Well, it's just it's going to be a good evening. It's yeah. going to be a, a great evening, actually. Mm -hmm. As we said, the doors open at nine. Mm -hmm. um, we are looking forward to our biggest party yet. Yeah. Um, with the lineup that we have, DJ Bones, Gil Harry, Seven, Oscar B. Security. Um, they have the saying, someone had the saying that you have Saddam type security. Yeah. <laughs> well, we are going to have very strong security. Yeah. We are going to be making our police the police presence are going to ensure that people behave themselves yeah. because that is what we are known for. Yeah. Um, we have uh, food and drinks will be on sale. Drinks is going to be or happier or price type prices. Mm -hmm. So it's very, very uh, cost effective. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, food, we're talking about rice and beans, chicken and salad. We're talking about cow foot soup. Mm -hmm. You know, Belize and love their cow foot soup what? after they start a drink. Mm -hmm. So, cow foot soup, and of course, our ever popular chip sundae for you to snack on during the course yeah. of the evening. And we have food for sale from the time we open the doors, uh, from the time the party starts at 10. We have food for sale until about four thereabouts when we pull that in. Mm -hmm. And then you got and your $10 breakfast. And then we start to get ready for the five, five o'clock, $10 breakfast. Mm -hmm. All right. So mm -hmm. that's going to be right through. We are going to be selling, in addition to our your complimentary glass of champagne, we normally have bottles of champagne or wine for sale or mm -hmm. bottles of black label. Because sometimes you're at the table yeah. and you prefer to have a bottle to, yes. to yeah. turn Rather around, than to be out right? every minute going to yes. the bar. Yes. So those things are also going to be available. Okay. Excellent. It seems, that, it seems like this is definitely the party you want to be at. Over the past six years, being that we have been doing this for six years, uh, what are some of the reviews you've been getting from those who actually have been to the Radisson for the New Year? It's always been awesome. As they are leaving, they're saying, next year, yeah. I'll come back. <laughs> Make sure you have my ticket. So those are the type of the feedback that we get. Yeah. And before we start to um, put um, ads on the airwaves and flyers, people are asking us, party on, right? Mm -hmm. New Year's party coming. I mean, they are looking forward to this from year from the start of the year right through. Excellent. So it's well, always been very good. One of the things that draws people to uh, uh, a wonderful party and then again to wonderful ambience is your staff. What are the reviews from your staff? What are they saying? Well, the staff, it's always going to, with our staff, it's a long day. Uh -huh. Because we have, we start from early morning in terms of setup. We have some staff that comes early. They start to set up, they take a break, they go home. And then we have some of them and another crew that comes on until the morning. So they know it's going to be a long day. But the thing is, our staff still looks forward to this party, yeah. mm -hmm. right? Because while we are there working, we're all working, we are still there to have fun. Because the bottom line is we want while you work, we want you to have fun because that's when you'll do your best work. Yeah. So the staff always looks forward to this party. All right. So ladies, uh, tell us some of the advice you give to people in terms of what to wear, uh, when to go. You guys have had this experience, so you know what to expect. Well, you also spoke about an extension as well on your deck, so people can have people have even more space to move yes. around. Yes. Good. Well, you know the ladies always just their best mm heels -hmm. and everything, but. If you're gonna drink, don't drink too much in your heels. We don't want to be responsible for anybody. <laughs> <laughs> Bring an extra flat. Bring <laughs> flat. Yes. Yes. See, this is what yes. happens when you're in the trade for a while. Bring an extra pair of yes, flats. And we have the whole hotel is beautiful. You know, ladies like to take pictures, post it on Facebook. Uh -huh. Who would want to take pictures and say, oh, I've been to the Radisson mm -hmm. New Year's Eve party? Yeah. A lot of likes, you know? Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. So you can take photos all over. You guys actually have like an entrance uh, area to take yes. photos yes. too, right? Yes. 
Yeah. Uh, the welcome entrance is going to be very festive, um, mm -hmm. nicely decorated by Raul, so that there'll be an area there to take pictures. Yeah. And we'll have another area, social media area, or the Radisson banner and all that, so you can take pictures there as well as in other areas. So mm -hmm. the entire space. Is this we'll the first time for us to be being a part of the, the Radisson New Year's Eve this, New Year's Eve yeah. bash? This is the first. Yeah. This we, is know, the first. we know for a fact that Oscar B is a very people friendly individual. He I'm sure will be taking some pictures. Uh, but I'm sure you guys have reached out to him. What what is his sentiment? What is he feeling? Oscar B is looking forward to being at the Radisson for the stands. Um, he has been communicating constantly with Edison. Edison mm -hmm. was the one who reached out to him and he is looking forward to this. He comes in later this afternoon, actually. Wow. So we are expecting to meet him at the airport. Um, we're expecting a few uh, people there at the hotel later on. Um, but it, Oscar B can't wait. Yeah. He cannot wait to be there at this party. <laughs> yes, he's been spending a lot of time in Belize. So I think he wants to party with the Belizeans now. So the doors open at 10 o'clock. The doors yes. open at 9. nine. At 9, yes. sorry. And uh, you advise people to come early or well without even advising them are any people come early well because if you <laughs> want a table you gotta get her you gotta get yes, there early right? because we don't reserve a table yeah. so you find i mean it was so funny one year we had someone uh, about four or six people in the lobby from 7 30. Wow. and the party starts at 10 yeah but i want to make sure i get a table Wow. So you have a few people that does come early so that as the door is open, they can take their pick of the tables that are available. Mm -hmm. We okay. are in the height of the tourist season. What are your guests saying and what have, been, and what have they been saying over the past mm -hmm. six years? Well, we have had a number of guests that have gone to the party. Mm -hmm. Um, some of them have come down, but at the time didn't realize we were having a party when they booked. So they have, some of them have gone to our New Year's Eve party. Some have booked because of our New Year's Eve party, wow. right? So our guests are really looking forward to it, some of them anyway. Mm -hmm. um, the, of course, you will have your percentage of guests that that's not their thing they just want to rest yeah. yeah and the beauty with our property because of how it has situated it has its pros and its cons yeah. but one of the cons in this the pros in this is in this it stage is because we have the villa section mm -hmm. yeah. so the guests who don't want to be a part of that who don't want to hear the noise we can put them over in that wing so we right. have a peaceful evening Radisson catering for So everyone. it is all going now. New Year's Eve. Uh, doors open at 9, mm -hmm. as you said. Yes. Tickets are currently available. Yes. And uh, your advice is to get it before you actually go for Absolutely. the night. But you don't have limited space, right? No. I mean, no, you're not going to stop no. selling tickets. No. Uh, what else do you want people to know about the big party? Welcome. Have fun. Mm -hmm. That is the main objective. Um, everything is going to be there. You just show up. You have all your party favors, you have your, your beverages, welcome beverages, your champagne. So come, have a great evening, bring in New Year's with your family, your friends, and bring in New Year's with the family at the Radisson. Mm -hmm. all right. So all you got to bring are your dancing shoes and your good behavior. Dancing right. shoes and good behavior. <laughs> you may want to bring a good size rag too because well, when Gil well, Harry well, and Oscar B start yes. and you get up, you may not want to sit down. All so right. a well, rag. Let's go ahead. John, you learned a thing or two about champagne yesterday, right? Yes, okay. I've learned a few things okay. about champagne. So let me take it out. Well, you want right. to get the glasses out first. Yes, yeah. so here we go. Woohoo! We're actually about to celebrate Radisson style. All right. Nice. Learning about champagne, unfortunately, we don't have the towel. Yes, but so there, there we you go. go. Smooth. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> All right, Marlene, you're first. All right. There you go. I think uh, Ms. Mala would be proud now. <laughs> yes. They taught him how to pour oh, yesterday. Course. Yeah, <laughs> how to open and to pour. The amount of bubbles, everything. Mm -hmm. How to right. sip. So you're ready when you're entertaining New Year's Eve. You're mm -hmm. going to be ready for that. And I'll you can get your it. own bottles of champagne. Yes. And you can get, I'm so, sure, bottles yes. of anything. All right. 
I'm sure if Oscar B sees this, he'll be a, because yeah. we're about to Stop we're about to celebrate. Him. That's right, <laughs> celebrate without him. All, All right. right, so here you go. Thanks. So this is cheers to 2017 courtesy of Radisson and goodbye Thank 2016. You. Cheers. 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 Check out the New Year's Eve party, party at the Radisson. Radisson. Tickets are $100 for couple, $60 single. Uh, doors open at 9. It's going to be Oscar B, Gil Harry 7, and DJ Bones. You don't want to miss it. There's also their $10 breakfast at 5 a.m. So you can take advantage of that to close off your night right, right? That's right. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> so while you get yourself ready and set for the Radisson's New Year's Eve bash, you might be wondering, what am I going to wear? I don't know. I'll tell you what. Jadot Boutique is with us, and they'll be telling you exactly what's hot for the New Year. So we'll take that break, and All we right. will be right back. Ha <laughs> ha! 